Let me introduce myself. Since around 1970, I've been writing books on and around the subject of magic and the occult. My greatest inspiration, particularly in the early years, was Alistair Crowley and Austin Spare, two magicians that people think of as very dark and sinister. Um, and so I tended to be associated um, uh, in the public mind with dark and sinister aspects of magic, although I've not written about those so much myself. It's not that I deny those parts, I think they have great importance in magic, but rather that um, I think if you put too much emphasis on those elements, and if you um, play up the sort of the weirdness, you know, the Harry Potter um, impossibilities of magic, you're actually making it easier not to believe in it. It's a sort of safety defense of society, if you like. So I haven't done that much myself. Instead, what has made my work different from many people is that many writers on magic take you right to the most dramatic bits. They, as it were, fly you to another world of total mystery and wonderment and other dimensions and everything and introduce you to that world, which is a marvellous thing to do. Whereas I tend to start from our everyday reality and I acknowledge that that reality can be a bit boring, a bit sort of claustrophobic for me. Um, and what I do is I start opening windows and doors and saying, look, there might be something behind all this, something beyond it. Let's explore and see. So really I'm sort of taking people on a journey from out of the ordinary and discovering those mysterious things that lie beyond, or rather, showing you how to discover those mysterious things. And that's what makes Ramsey Duke's books on magic a bit different from many.